Peace to the family, peace to the family. It's DSP of Onslaught Multimedia, your friendly neighborhood media personality. Welcome to the ins an another installment of The Rabbit Hole. Just wanted to warn y'all, man, this is triggering as fuck. It's triggering as fuck. Um, this brother is using some um, scientific racism rhetoric that'll trigger you. And this is when it starts picking up. So I just wanted to warn y'all before we get into that. But first, of course, we're going to get into this Malcolm X piece where he asks, who taught you to hate yourself? Then we'll get into the uh, the nasty, nasty rhetoric. Let's go. The texture of the, of the hair that God pleased, that God gave them, so much that they'll put lie on it. <laughs> Do you realize now, you know, brother, lie will eat a hole in steel, and you know your head is not that hard. you please who taught you to hate the texture of your hair who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet who taught you to hate your own kind who taught you to hate the race that you belong to so much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. You can't substitute the word black for melanin. They both have derogatory meanings in their conception. So look at here. We're going to talk about the earlier form of the word melanin before the Greeks cursed it. It was called melody. We sang a song called Melodies from Heaven in the Black countries community. This explains how every human get their color. Give me a minute and we're going to get into that. So look, people, when you look at this track and field arena, you're looking at the ancient conception of Earth, which is right here. All of the human types are running one race from the center. When I say that there's one human race, I mean it in many ways that as a species, we are one species. And within this species that we call a human are many variated types. There's a rule of nature. Let me go back here again so I can talk to you. I'm not making this up. I'm giving you natural law. You don't have to like what I'm saying, but these are the laws that govern your reality. So you better get used to them. Now, here's one of the laws of diversity that everything in creation must be variated by infinity. So when you look at the bird species, it's so many different bird types that we don't even know them all. It's in the millions. And there's so many different colors and beak types and wing patterns and some that fly and some that don't fly. And it can go on, man, forever, just with birds. And when you look at the fish species, it's variated by infinity, meaning you can't count how many fish types in the ocean. You cannot count how many different types of ocean life is in the ocean. They don't have a number on it. It's variated by infinity. When you look at snakes, they, don't, they can't tell you how many snake species it is. We still finding them. We still finding new species. And snakes come in so many colors and patterns, it's ridiculous. They got purple snakes like the Minnesota Vikings. They got a snake out there, and it's got stripes with every color of the rainbow, a rainbow snake. They, nature created something, and she variated by infinity. She don't just create one prototype. 
So when she made the snake, she didn't just make it all black and waited for time to do the variation. No, when she creates something, she also creates the diversity herself, meaning that all the shades and colors of people you see on the earth were made at the same time, at the same place. Nature ain't no damn uh, uh, unfair judge. If I told all of my children to go outside and race, I ain't giving nobody a head start because that ain't fair. Nature is my art. She's balanced. She's fair. So when she created diversity and created the seed of humanity and a light-skinned human, a Jamaican human, a Hawaiian human, a orange human, a copper-colored human, man, there's so many different types of humans that, God damn it, yo, we still finding new human types. Why? Because we still interbreeding, making different versions as well. We taking a diversity already what nature created and multiplying it. Nature didn't make one variation before the next. When color was created, the rainbow was created. She didn't make black first, then white, then green, then yellow, then orange. All of the colors in the spectrum was created simultaneously. If you say black was created first, guess what? All that's how black was created first. You can't have black without mixing all the colors together. So to say black came before all the colors is stupid when you can't have black without mixing all the colors. So it all came together at the same time. All the colors came with black and white. It all When you buy a box of crayons, do you buy one color at a time or do all the colors come in the goddamn box? When you say stop mixing with other people, that's like come in the kitchen after I done blended my smoothie and say, Brother Sanchez, don't be mixing them strawberries with them pineapples. Nigga, it's already a smoothie. When nature created creation, she blended everything together. So you can't, you saying don't mix, you a little too late. Nature already brought forth diversity and blended the creation together. The North Pole is a pole that's constantly spinning the sun around and the moon around a central axis. It's like the blender. In the middle of the blender is something that's making everything come together. It's mixing the strawberry with the grapes. It's making it one smoothie. Life is one collective consciousness. It's one smoothie. For, so for you separatists out there talking about quit mixing, you like a chopped up strawberry in the blender saying, I don't want to be mixed in. Nigga, you already part of the smoothie, so shut the fuck up. I can't undo that once I hit that button and blend all that fruit together. I can't separate it out to become a smoothie. And that's what the seed of humanity is. And it's not from years of having sex. Is because nature created all of these variations and blended them together. Just like when I make my smoothie, I create all these different piles of fruit, the grapes, the strawberries, the cucumbers, and then I put them all together and blend it together. We're one collective consciousness. So... People also say blackness was worshipped. No, blackness was the world ship. See, over time, we've watered down the truth, and all you got is the lies. Didn't nobody worship the color black. Didn't nobody do it. And black people don't have black skin. So why would they worship Brown? If t Listen to me, man. You I wanted to cut it right there because now it's going to start getting crazy. 
And legit, this was my face when I heard him say that. I was like, wait a minute, what, what, what do you mean? You know about, you know, the uh, black version of Mary, right? That the Pope's worship and all that? You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, you know what? I, I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to tune into the next installment of this video. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I, I, I had to warn y'all earlier that this was a triggering video because of what he was saying. You know what I mean? I'm coming to a conclusion that maybe some pro-blacks really got at him and now he just has this disdain for anyone that speaks um, or comes from that school of thought. You know what I'm saying? So it's wild. So stay tuned for the next installment. Truly appreciate y'all. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, then select all to get every single notification. I'm DSP. This is Onslaught Multimedia. I'm out. Peace.